Hey, it's Sarah with Loaves and Dishes, and in today's video, I am gonna be showing you how to make this bacon and cheese pull apart bread. So, the most important thing about this recipe, and this was kind of difficult to find, is that you wanna get rolls that have to rise before you bake them. So if you get any frozen rolls that say, you know, like ready to bake, uh, that kind of thing, you know, just thaw and bake, etc. Those rolls are not going to work for this. And the reason why is because when, when the rolls rise um, and you like put them all in a container, they uh, kind of stick together. And that is what makes pull apart bread, pull apart bread. So, and that was kind of hard for me to find at my grocery store. I had to do a lot of looking at packages and reading. Um, I eventually found some. The other way that you could make this is if you just made the dough yourself, um, which would be easy. We have recipes for that on this channel, but using frozen rolls is easier to me. Okay, so now I am cutting the rolls in half. It doesn't matter which way you cut them in half. You just wanna cut them in half so that you kind of make more of them so that you make more pull apart spots, if that makes sense. And these were completely frozen when I got them. So I let them set out for about an hour until they were soft enough to cut in half, but they had not risen yet. So once I got all of them cut in half, I started adding them to the bottom of my baking dish. I did spray the bottom of my dish with a little bit of oil. Uh, and I'm just putting them in a, in a single layer on the bottom. And it doesn't matter if the bottom is like completely covered. You kind of want to leave a little bit of room because as the rolls rise, they are going to take up more space. So about half goes on the bottom. You know, it's just a rough estimate. And then you can put whatever kinds of toppings you want on yours. I did bacon and cheese. It's a classic. You could add some vegetables to this. Um, I think in mom's original recipe, she added mushrooms. You could add seasonings, you could add different kinds of cheese. I had some mozzarella cheese in the fridge and so that's what I used. Uh, cheddar cheese would be good, pepper jack would be good. You could literally add almost anything to this as long as it's like cooked or easy to cook or will cook in the oven while this is baking. Uh, so I added some toppings. I split my toppings in half. I added about half the cheese and then I added about half the bacon cause I'm gonna put some more on top. And then I'm adding my other layer of rolls and again, leaving some space in between. It's not, not trying to make it super pretty or anything. Just trying to use up all of the rolls. And then I sprinkled on the rest of my bacon and I added some more cheese. And I also off camera before I stuck this in the oven, I thought to myself, this needs some garlic powder. Uh, so <laughs> I, I put some butter on top, but then I sprinkled some garlic powder and some parsley flakes on top. And then you just wanna bake it according to the package instructions. You wanna keep an eye on it, make sure that it doesn't burn or anything and make sure that everything gets baked all the way through. But here they are done. And I just melted a little bit more butter to paint on the top. These were delicious. It's super fun, it's easy. It's a different kind of way to do rolls. You know, it's not just boring, plain rolls. Um, it's got a little, a little something extra. But yeah, these are really great. This is super, super easy to make and it seems like it's, you know, other people who haven't watched this video will think, oh wow, you went through so much effort and, you can, and then you'll know. It really wasn't that much effort, but it seems like it. <laughs> <laughs> but that's it. If you want to see more videos, uh, be sure to check out Lowe's and Dishes. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.